What is going on everybody? I am back with another episode of my NBA 2K16 Brooklyn Nets My GM series. This is episode number three, so let's get right into it. You may have noticed that there weren't any episodes this week. My apologies, I just had an extremely busy week and I wasn't able to make any videos. But hopefully now that it's a weekend, I can start grinding out all of these videos for you guys now. Another thing I wanted to talk about was purchasing the Brooklyn Nets. I've always wanted to purchase a team in NBA 2K My GM, but I've never had a reason to do so. So if you guys want to see me purchase the Brooklyn Nets, we need to do something spectacular. Let's hit 200 likes and I will go ahead and purchase the Brooklyn Nets. And also the poll is still open to vote on where the Brooklyn Nets should relocate for the very next season. Click the link in the description below to go ahead and vote. And uh, you guys absolutely smashed the poll. I mean, the poll has over 180 votes, so you can vote up to two times. So be sure to vote one more time if you haven't, or at least vote for your first time if you haven't already. The link will be in the description. And let me know in the comment section down below, where do you want to see the Brooklyn Nets go? But let's get right into this episode. So uh, I was looking at a couple trades. I was trying to get DeMar DeRozan, and I wanted to get rid of Joe Johnson in return for a younger, better shooting guard slash small forward. So my first target was actually DeMar DeRozan, and as you can see, New Jersey came out with this offer right here, and I thought it was a pretty good deal, but in all honesty, I didn't want to get rid of both Brooke Lopez and Joe Johnson. I mean, it is a great trade, don't get me wrong, but I feel like we are getting rid of too much. We're getting rid of two first-round draft picks, and um, I just don't want to get rid of that much, especially for a trade where you don't really know what you're getting for the players you're receiving. So I decided not to take the trade. I mean, it would have been a decent trade for both teams, I would say, but I feel safer keeping at least Brook Lopez because Brook Lopez is an all-star center. And I mean, an all-star center in this league is hard to come by. So I decided not to take the trade. Now, I was, I was trying to only target DeMar DeRozan, but... um. Toronto just wanted to get Brooke Lopez from me, and they were willing to throw in Kyle Lowry, which is pretty interesting. But as you can see, they did end up counter-offering Brooke Lopez, and I decided I just wasn't going to take that deal. So I decided to go to the trade the trade finder and look up Joe Johnson and Donald Sloan, and I found this trade right here. So Joe Johnson, Donald Sloan, and Bogdanovich for Jimmy Butler and Taj Gibson. Now, Jimmy Butler, obviously an all-star in 86 overall. I believe he's like, what, 24? And he's an... I mean, he's gonna, definitely going to be a great player in this league. Definitely going to be a 90 overall plus within the next couple of years. So, I mean, I think that is an amazing, amazing trade. Jimmy Bowe is actually 26, excuse me. But uh, I feel like that's an amazing trade. We're getting rid of Joe Johnson, who, I mean, yeah, he's a decent player, but he's pretty old. And Jimmy Butler, obviously 86 overall. He's much younger. I feel like he's going to be a great asset on this team. And I mean, Jimmy Butler, that's just a solid name to have on your team. So we're going to go ahead and do that trade. But before we do that, just like in real life, you want to make sure that you are getting the best option for the trade you were doing. So I decided to look and try to trade for Damian Lillard. Now, that is kind of kind of tough to do, but obviously nothing was working out because Damian Lillard is a five star player. So, I mean, it was worth a shot, though. I mean, you can't go wrong with Damian Lillard and you can't go wrong asking to trade for Damian Lillard. But anyways, uh, as you can see, I just kept on trying to go for him, and it just was not working, obviously. I mean, what else do you really expect? So I decided to go back to the Jimmy Butler trade, the original trade that the Bulls actually had offered us, and I'm going to go ahead and take this offer right here. So Joe Johnson, Donald Sloan, and Bogdan Bogdanovich for Jimmy Butler and Taj Gibson. This is a great trade for both teams, I would say. I mean, the Bulls obviously are getting three pretty good players, but then I think we're getting the best part of the deal. We're getting Jimmy Butler, all-star, and we're getting Taj Gibson, who could be a solid six-man on this team. So I, I want to go ahead and welcome Jimmy Butler to the Brooklyn Nets. He's going to be a phenomenal fit on this team, and I'm excited, so excited to play with him. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about this trade? Was Jimmy Butler a good player to bring? He fits perfectly into the lineup. The only problem, though, is... Uh, at small forward, we do have Rondé Hollis Jefferson, who is a rookie, but it should be okay. Jimmy Butler could be covering him up. But that is going to be it for me for episode number three. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a huge thumbs up for me. It means a lot. It means a ton. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys real soon.